hey guys welcome to another video of mine today's technical drawing topic is axonometric projection i'm going to explain to you what an axonometric projection is and we're going to go through a couple multiple choice questions okay so grab your snacks grab your drinks let's go <laughs> Okay, so this might be the first time you're hearing of an axonometric drawing and or axonometric projection. Axonometric means to measure along axes. So if you have, let's say, an X, Y, Z axis, those are for 3D drawings. Um, you're measuring along the axis or you are drawing along the axis. So here I have um, the different graphical projections. And I'm going to pull up my laser pointer so you can follow along with me. Um, we've done multi-view drawings, which is first and third angle projection. And if you didn't see these videos, um, look in the library and you will um, find them. Okay. So um, we also did oblique drawings and we did questions on perspective drawings. Okay. So we're going to go through axonometric drawings. And these are the three uh, main types of axonometric drawings you have the isometric drawing you have dimetric and you also have um, trimetric drawing okay and uh, if you don't know the difference between them um, the isometric drawing is where all the angles between each axis or axes are equal okay um, dimetric you have two angles that are equal so here you have a and c and the angle between them would be um, equal to each other and the uh, remaining angle would be a different angle to the first two okay and then you have trimetric we are all the angles all three angles between the axis axes are different okay so you have isometric you have dimetric and you have trimetric okay the one that is used um, the most is isometric drawings and in technical drawing you will find that you're doing um, lots of isometric drawings okay so let's get to the questions now all right so in isometric drawing number one all distances are approximately this percentage of their true size all distances are approximately this percentage and you have of your true size you have a 120 percent b 80 percent c 50 percent and d 20 percent okay so if you look at this drawing um you can see that the lines that are going away from you these are usually at 30 per 30 degrees for an isometric drawing okay um those lines those lines are not full scale to a real object, okay? So the lines are usually 80% of the original true measurement, okay? So if you're drawing um, a, an isometric drawing and it is, you're using 30 degrees because you don't have to use 30 degrees, um, the drawings that are projected backwards will be 80% of the full scale okay and in isometric pictorials um, the axes are usually 60 degrees apart okay so if you have three axes x let's say this is x y and z for example the angle in between each axis would be um, 60 degrees okay apart all right so the answer would be um, 80 percent all right, number two says the angles project true or angles project true size only when plane angles project okay number two says angles project true size only when the plane containing the angle and the plane of projection are a adjacent b aligned c perpendicular or d parallel okay so the plane and the plane of projection or the plane containing the angle and the plane of projection should be 
um, either adjacent or aligned or perpendicular or parallel in order to project their true size or their true measurement okay so which one would it have to be okay and uh, angles project their true size the, ang the answer would be when they are in parallel to the plane of projection okay so if you're drawing a isometric drawing and the line is parallel with the whichever axis you are using if it's parallel with it um you would be um in the true size only okay all right so the answer would be um d parallel all right number three says in this type of projection each of the axis has different ratios of foreshortening each of the axes has different ratios of foreshortening and we just spoke about that so if you look at this um, you will see all the angles are labeled different so that means each angle is different on each side of the axis so that would be um, trimetric okay and that would be your answer lines of an act this is number four lines of an isometric drawing uh, that are not parallel to isometric axis are called this lines of an isometric drawing that are not parallel to the isometric axes are called this okay so they are not parallel remember we said that um, they have to be parallel in the previous one those that are not parallel with them would be called what and this is an example of a non isometric line so you have your regular um, axis which is the X Y and Z right here and as you can see this line is not parallel with with any of these three lines okay so it will be called a non isometric line all right so that would be your answer all right number five says this type of axonometric drawing has equal foreshortening along two axis directions and a different amount on the third axis okay so basically saying um, two of the axis directions um, has equal um, distance between each other and which one would it be okay and here you have again the answer would be diametric projection because it has equal foreshortening on two of the um, the axis so number okay. six the edge of a cube in isometric projection makes angles of this many degrees with each other so the edge of a cube in isometric projection i remember isometric um the angles are equal on all axes so if it's 60 60 um you would add up to one eight 120 on each side okay so if you have 60 on this side and 60 on that side it would add up to 120 okay so the answer would be 120 between each um axis okay all right let me do that again i'm going to edit this one okay so number six says the edge of a cube in isometric projection make angles of this many degrees with each other is it 30 is it 60 is it 90 or is it 120 okay and if you look at the object below it is a cube and the angles if you draw an isometric drawing the angles between them uh, would be uh, 120 degrees okay so as you can see there they are equally spaced apart and that would be the angle which is 120 degrees okay all right thanks for watching um if you understood the questions and if you understood what axonometric projection is um hit the like button if you have any questions leave it below in the comment section subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you on the next one okay all right bye